demons of hell steer this ship a hundred lives to guide. From the gallows of Blackbird Castle I swung for all the Caribbean to see. It's him. It is the sixth night. Gates of hell, beckon your souls. I'll reap the pitiful bounty and cast them upon burning coals. From Satan's den to haunt in hideous misery. Is this? Then he's bloodthirsty. There are no such things as ghosts. Everyone, go home. Get inside, please. <laughs> In 1850, Blackjack Savage, a famed Caribbean pirate, was captured and hanged in the castle where he lived on the island of San Pietro. 300 years later, Barry Tarberry, a Wall Street pirate indicted for stock fraud, skipped bail and took up residence in Blackjack's castle. Since the ghost only appeared to the owner of the castle, an uneasy partnership was born. For their crimes, Blackjack's spiritual guide, Larry, demands that they save a hundred lives or face an eternity in hell. Several other villages near Blackbird Castle have had uh, problems such as yours. Yes, and they left. Sold their land. Land that they had lived on for hundreds of years. Gustavo Aquino, you are leader of your village. I am the leader of this island. Place yourself. I realize the difficulty in my shoes. I lead an island surrounded by a sea in the 20th century. And yet, the people of San Pietro are mired in the beliefs of the 17th century. Leaders like myself must move ahead, even if the people cannot. Here is the end to your troubles. The Minister of Cultural Advancement, Mr. Otis Booth. He will advise you on what to do. Bacon. It is for your post on Number 43. 
Mr. Tarberry, number 43. I don't take numbers, Vasquez. I'm like time. I wait for no man. Now, what is so important that you have to see me? Please. A little bird tells me the Justice Department has managed to freeze some more of your assets. Oh, come on, Abe. I'm Barry Tarberry. Those guys couldn't freeze water. So you will not be late with your monthly asylum gratuity? No offense, General. Your monthly kickback is less than what I spend on lunch in New York, so if that's what's worrying you... Another little bird tells me the FBI is working on a sting to get you. Those lousy Dudley do-right Stalinists. They can't touch me unless I go out beyond the 12-mile limit into international waters. The FBI is just a stone in my shoe. More like a boulder. Gravel, maybe. I see. Well, then, if this is not a problem, I will not waste any more of your valuable time on the reason I call. Well, look, as long as I'm down here. If you are having a problem, I am willing to buy back Blackbird Castle. Why? Why? Because I know you're not happy there. It being haunted. And it might help to ease your financial difficulties. Well, not that I'm interested. But how much would it ease my financial difficulty? What does it matter? You are not in trouble. I am wrong. Yeah. And so are you little birds. This is nowhere, man. Look, we need to save a hundred lives to stay out of hell. I am not going to sit around and watch my finances crumble just waiting for opportunities. Then we need to go back to the village. I hear there's an imposter there going around giving my bad name a bad name. You're always thinking of yourself. Well, we're not going to save any lives here. Last week alone, three people got caught up in the undertone. Now, that's too good to pass up. Help! I'm hallucinating my ex-wife. It is me, you idiot. What? Marla Tarberry? Tarberry? <laughs> I dropped that name when I dropped you. It's Marla Lamb. This is your ex-wife? Yeah, my ex-wife. The only woman in the world who could lose money with a Tarberry hotel. It was your picture in every room. It scared the guests away. Really? Are you down here on business or pleasure? Business is pleasure. Well, in San Pietro, honey, the pleasure's all mine. So if you've got something going on down here, take it with me. I'll give you a little more juice on it. Last deal we made together was settled in divorce court. Miss Lance, remember your 2 o'clock appointment with Abel Vasquez. <laughs> You, um, smell toast burning? Oh, it's you. Marla Lance, the witch of Wall Street. Madam Marbleheart. <laughs> she's the one who owns all those exotic vacation resorts. Boy, did she trash you on Oprah. Lights on. <laughs> I wonder what she's after. Did she really fire an entire hotel staff because there wasn't a mint on her pillow that true? Maybe she wants you back, Mario. <laughs> what was so funny? It ended up... No, I was just thinking. Boy, there was a marriage of oil and water. More like a sodium and water in a super-saturated base solution. <laughs> 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 now, tell him what about the two electrons that walked into the box. <laughs> Well, whatever she's working on, there must be some way I can bird dog the deal and replenish my net worth. Miss Sinclair. Miss <laughs> Tarberry. Come on in and stay a while. Actually, Miss Tarberry, that's my name. I hope you'll understand. May I sleep here tonight?
I need to prove to the people there's no ghost at Blackbird Castle and put an end to this once and for all. Yes, I've heard about it. I've been quite concerned about it myself. Well, I'll tell you what. Everybody, everybody, come on around. Gather around here. Uh, listen up. Uh, Miss St. Clair has something very important to say to you. To prove there is no ghost, I challenge all of you to stay at Blackbird Castle with me tonight. Wait a second now. I wasn't planning on hosting a native slumber party. So who is with me? No, Danielle. The pirate spoke. I returned from Satan's den to halt in hideous misery. Well, that doesn't sound like Jack. It's too good. I would go with you, Danielle, but I should stay and defend against the attack. Yes, yes, you stay here tonight. That's right, you're a brave man. I will go with you. People! People, listen to me. As Minister of Cultural Advancement, I have your interests at heart. Minister of Cultural Advancement, I guess you're a cousin of Abe's, huh? Mr. Tarbury, your witticism is appreciated, but I'm trying to help these people. A company has made a generous offer to purchase the land. Purchase? Don't you mean steal, Mr. Boot? Danielle, if they listen to you, they can expect to stay in these shacks living in fear. Or they can make a profit, get a little something for themselves. Just like their neighbors on the outskirts of the Blackbird Estate. Oh, hold the phone. You mean except for this village, all the land next to my castle has been sold? It doesn't matter. We will take care of this ghost ourselves tonight. Gustavo, he tried to kill you. We cannot stop the ghost. Gustavo, your own bullets go through him. We must sell. Yes. 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 We must sell. Yes. Look what this man is doing to you. Don't listen to him. He's not to be trusted. I'm the one the man behind this is Madame Marbleheart. Good night, Ramon. Good night. Mr. Tarbury. I'm right next door. If you need anything, just... Okay, Ray. Your room. Let's see. You go down this hall, all the way to the end, you make a left. Then a quick right, go three doors, make another left, go two doors. You're right there at the end of the hall. You can't miss it. Ooh. Yes. If you think she is a fine-looking woman, you should see her in a silk nightie. I don't believe this. Ghosts can't lie, remember? How could you do that? that that's horrible. You slob. How could you invade her privacy like that? Really, Jack? Silk? Tell me everything. Come on, let's go back to the village, because I want to see this ghost of Black Jack Savage is claiming to be me. Try to steal my castle. She loves to kick people when they're down, you know? Well, that sounds like you're tight. Did you like being married? You like being dead? You get used to it. Well, maybe I should grab the keys. 
Open the door. You know I cannot affect physical matter. Larry won't let me. Well, you're a weenus, Larry. below the no-tell motel. And if I wanted that castle, I wouldn't have to talk to you. I'd go to Abel Vasquez. What are you talking about? Felons are not allowed to own property on San Pietro. There's no such law. Then Abel's made one. You tell your partner, Vasquez, that that castle is my life, literally. You're not going to turn it into another one of your tacky resorts. I'm here on a different deal. I want to bring you in. Suck me in is more like it. I stand a better chance back in my cell with Larry. Ah. You still don't know anything about fine wine. Larry, keep your legs crawled. Now listen, I just spent 10 minutes with my ex-wife. Now if there's anyone here who wants to take on the volcanic release of my anger, then let's go. Who wants to dance? You! Release Larry Tarberry. What's up, my rap? You scurvy dog. Darn. 
be gone, lest I unleash the power of, of hell upon uh, you. better job than I would have, because the villagers, they're more scared than ever. Thanks, Edward. You're welcome. I don't understand it. Why would Marla do that? With me out of jail, I can stop her from getting the castle. Yeah, well, just be glad we're home. I thought I was snark stripped for sure out there. What's she doing here? all my furniture. Senor Todd, are you frightened me? I thought you were gold. What the hell's going on here, Ray? Where's my furniture? I have good news for you. My uncle, General Vasquez, has sold the castle for you. What? He can't do that. Oh, see, si. when you were in jail, the castle became a government property. I was only in for a day, unjustly. Here is your money from the sale, and minus the commissions in the month. I'll get to it to your course. Barry, Barry. Only the owner of the castle can see me. Now, if this castle's been sold, we couldn't work together. Our chance to save lives, to save our souls, will be history. No, I want it back. Nullify the contract. I am afraid I cannot do that. It is how you say a done deal. Deals are made to be broken. I am sorry, Senor Tarberry, but by executive order of the Governor General at this moment, the castle is no longer yours. We're looking at the gates of hell here. It is not that bad. <laughs> Look, Barry, you work it from your end, I'll work it from mine. You've got to get the castle back. You, uh, take care of yourself. Stay away from snarks. Once upon a midnight jury, while saving lives for a dude named Larry, Four phase they parted ways, and to the mortal the ghost relays. I'll miss you, Barry Tarberry. Yeah, I'll miss you too. But not your poems. Definitely. Forget it, kid. Here. Go buy yourself some dignity. Thank you, Annie. It's cold. Very cold. Well, it's a silent Marla. It's supposed to be cold. Let me concede point one. You know me better than anyone. A fact I'm trying to forget. Could we just go back? Can we go back and just talk? Like we did when we first got together? Or fell in love? Or whatever the hell happened? I mean, like the time you and I teamed up to cheat the Toshiba Corporation out of the Orlando real estate? <laughs> <laughs> Our times are over, Barry. No, marriage just wasn't meant to be. No, not just that. Deals. Buyouts. The 80s, as they put it. Try as I do to hang on. They're over. 
sure it was fun while it lasted. The 80s? Mm -hmm. For us. Look, Marla, I need my castle. Give it back to me. Honey, you keep bringing up this castle. I'm telling you, I'm after an island offshore. You're going to look me right in the eye and tell me that you just didn't buy Blackbird Castle? Mm-hmm. I'm going to look you right in the eye and tell you no. Mary? Hmm. How about a new deal? I'll help you get your castle back. If you help me get my island offshore. One village left, and after last night, I don't think that'll take too long. I am no man is hard, Mr. Bush. I merely facilitate, how shall we say, my constituents' needs for uh, ten percent fee. <laughs> I hope you will be happy. Once I turn this toilet into an expensive health spa, I get fat from folks trying to get thin them out of this dump. First thing is to change the name, Blackbird Castle. No. From now on, it's the Club Calypso. Sign on the dotted line. And officially, you will be the new owner of the castle. I can see this is going to take some serious haunting. Congratulations, Mr. Otis. Go to knock off this wall and put in a juice bar. Lose all this pirate junk. Panic salon. Beautiful. Now this place is totally mine. That human hedgehog, I don't believe it. Otis Boot bought the castle? He's planning to turn that and the surrounding villages into a resort. I just don't know what to do. The villagers are tired of fighting and are prepared to sell the land. Looks like we've both lost. No, we haven't. Not if you can get them to sell to me. Tarberry business tip. The best way to get something back is to get something the other guy wants. Lance business tip. Business is 10% inspiration and 90% reputation. Marla has the reputation for being the meanest, dirtiest player in real estate. Next to him. And I think Vasquez will respect that, whether he knows it or not. Going to help us. We're going to get everything back. And then you'll return the villages to the people at the price they were paid, right? What? That's very good, Danielle. And Barry here told me it would take you a while to catch on. It's settled then. I'm sure the elders will agree to sell to you. Good night, Muffin. off my own game. Who's in here? So, uh, you were expecting a horse head, maybe? <laughs> you.
You ain't seen nothing yet. What? I'm Barry Tarbury. You wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, right. Tarbury. I was expecting someone else. Come in. While you were living here? Black Jack Savage. You have. You have. Oh, thank God I'm not crazy. He's haunting you? Three days straight. Relentless. Terrifying, isn't it? You caught me in a good mood, Otis. I'm willing to buy the castle back from you right now. I'm not saying no, Tarbury. But I can make millions turning this place into a resort. Otis, who would want a vacation in a haunted hell house? The offer's on the table for ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Forget it. I think the answer to my problems is here. You call the doctor? You're the spiritual exterminator? to Hades. That's like, it's like Cleveland. Oh, spirit! Be gone! Jack, are you here? Listen, Doc. Come on. Please, you both must go. I must have complete concentration. Hang tough, Jack. I have to think of the underdog. Hang tough. Jack Savage has been forever removed from this house. Great. Now we can get back down to business. That was a close call, Barbary. And we're sold out here. But since I didn't, get the hell out of my house. I am happy to tell you that we have sold our village. Very good. You have come to your senses. Miss Blanche made us an offer we could not refuse. You mean Mr. Otis Boot? No, sir. We sold our land to Miss Marla Lance. Hey, Poindexter. Got that thing ready? Ready, Madam Marbleheart. That's nice. That's nice. Governor General, welcome to my newest acquisition. Yes. Well, I am afraid there is a problem with the land. You're telling me. There is so much here, I don't know how we're going to get it all. All? All of what? Logan! Stay back. Stay back. Show them. Uranium. Lots of it. Uranium? Yeah, this is quite valuable, no? Better than a gold mine. Yes. See? Yes. Yes, I have seen this on Nova. No. No. No, I know your reputation, Miss Lance. But by executive order, I have given my word that a new health resort will be built Abel, 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 come on. Are you telling me you're going to settle for a one-time 10% cut on some bush league resort when you can get a continuous 20% kickback on every truckload of uranium that goes out of you? What? Five times that. If you manage to executive order the other villages to me, plus... Blackbird Castle, so I'll have a place to stay when I pay the operation a visit. Five times? Twenty percent? Plus! You will have every country kissing your butt for the ore. Mm. I 
I would like that. Mm -hmm. But you're asking me to turn my back on a trusted friend and break several promises. My word would mean nothing. Then it's a done deal. Tip off about Larry. I know you, man. You owe me for having to listen to that mush. Jack! Is that you? Well, it ain't Fred from Beretta. Listen, uh, you got a cracker on your side. What happened? I thought that exterminator threw you out of here. Yeah, the man was tough. I used every trick in the book. Finally, I wished myself to the entrance of hell until he thought I was gone. Well, listen, listen, just lay low. Just lay low. Things are already in motion. When I get the castle back, I'll see you again. Mary, uh, what if I wasn't still here? And I take 100% credit for every life saved. Got it. Listen, you sure you don't have a hacker, a cuddle bone, something? No. And if I did, I doubt I'd give it to you. You're stopping the sale of the land? How can you do this to me? The transactions for the land must be cleared through proper channels. You're the proper channels. I'm very glad you understand. Perhaps it will only be a minor delay, but I must consider another arrangement. From who? Who, who could be dead enough? My relax. How far is this island? You're not gonna back out on me now, after I practically saved your castle. Twelve miles out. Beyond that, I'm a free ball. I still don't understand why you need me out there. Because you're the only one who understands me, Barry. I thought maybe we could be partners again. Gonna kill that Barry Tarberry! 
Gonna kill that very Tarberry. What is this? Is this some sort of joke? What's going on? Otis Boot is angry because Marla and Barry have stolen back the castle and the land from him, and so he's got his shotgun and is looking to go out and kill them off the island of Delugo. This is the most amazing bird I have ever seen. Uh, 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 Delugo Island. Um, how do I get there? How do I tell him? Um... The boat? The boat! B-O-A-T! No! I know! I got an idea! The boat! The blackbird! build a pier there, put the casino down by the lagoon. How did you find it? Connection. We're there. I love it. If you haven't lost your touch, I'll be glad to go in on it with you. Barry, I've got some bad news for you. You're about to get stung. Oh, come on, the initial investment can't be that no. bad. Last month I was charged with real estate fraud. The FBI offered me a deal where they'd let me go if I cooperated in a sting to get you off the San Pietro. So, I did it, and now I'm a free woman. Oh, you marble heart. Man's business tip. If it's him or me, it's me. I don't believe it. You stole that from me, too. That's a Tarberry business tip. Barry Tarberry! Hold it right there! Very, I cannot tell you how happy I am that once again you are the owner of Black Park Castle. I cannot believe that I was swindled by your ex-wife with her uranium plane. I don't see how you could ever have been married with her. Haven't you heard, Abel? Opposite the track. Yes. Well, have a good day, Mr. Tarberry. I just wanted to say thank you for helping to get the villagers back. And yet, I feel our job is incomplete. In all the mix-up, you never got a chance to spend an evening in Blackbird Castle. May I quote a mutual friend of ours? Sure. Who? Lance. Business tip number one. Business is 10% inspiration and 90% reputation. Your 90% precedes you, Mr. Tarbury. Goodbye. She's back in New York and she still haunts me. Somebody asked for a haunting? Well, how do we do? Larry bought it? Yes. Small accounts, it's a save. We got another life. 49% deals a deal. Deals are made to be broken. Yeah, but not this one.
Coming up next, it's Hunter. Then Jack Killian answers a cry for help and gets blamed for a death. It's a powerful, all-new episode of Midnight Caller tonight. And Sunday night, it's a special one-hour edition of Real Life with Jane Pauley at 8, 7 Central. Whatever happened to Jean Harris? She's still behind bars for the murder of the Scarsdale Diet Doctor. I'm Jane Pauley. Jean Harris talks about her fatal attraction. Join me on Real Life Sunday. Thank you.